Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss another very important topic inside modular coding. Uh, so let me just write the topic name here. So I'm going to create a file called readme.md. So it's a markdown file. If you want to keep anything that's information related to your project, you can keep uh, this uh, everything inside this particular file, okay, readme.md. And whenever you will be using Git and GitHub, okay, so there actually you need this file because with the help of Git and GitHub, uh, it will render okay it will render to the github so let's say i showed you one github now nah? here i think remember so if i go to the project so this uh, github is also having readme.md file so let me show you see readme.md file is available okay with the help of that they are rendering this uh, actually information like whatever information they have written inside readme.md everything is rendering here okay in the github so that other people can come here and they can read about your project okay what is the project you implemented how to install it how how they can use it okay every information it will uh, kept so that's also whenever you are creating your project you just need to create this uh, readme.md file and all the information you have to keep here so as of now i'm going to only paste the topic actually i'm going to discuss here see the topic actually i'm going to discuss uh, this is the topic okay inside python actually we are having this statement if underscore underscore name is equal to is equal to underscore underscore main okay so what is the use of this particular let's say statement inside uh, uh, like modular coding so here i have written the if underscore underscore name is equal to is equal to underscore underscore main it's a common pattern used to uh, used in python script to determine whether the script is being run directly or it is it's being imported as a module into the another script okay that means i think remember inside main.py we imported some of the functionality okay from my another file that means some module actually we imported that means here we are using different script okay different script of the code and here we are trying to use it i hope you cleared okay now instead of calling them directly see here i'm calling them directly this particular function i'm calling them directly so what you can do you can write this particular statement so before uh so after initializing all the class what you have to do you have to write this statement if underscore underscore name uh is equal to is equal to underscore underscore uh, okay mean this particular statement and inside that you have to call the function okay inside that you have to call the function okay now any of the programmer can get to know the method you are using okay the method that you're using it is imported from any other module it is imported from any other script okay this is the idea and you are separating out some of the code snippet let's say this is my initialization code this is my object initialization code so here i'm initializing the object of my class and he, inside that actually i'm calling all the methods okay one by one now see if i execute the program it will work fine i'll just run main.py see first of all connection successful okay then it it is asking for create mean i'll create the pin uh, give the balance let's say 2000 rupees then check the balance one to three see balance is two thousand rupees fine i think you uh, got it what is the use of this uh, uh this particular statement inside uh, uh, modular coding and going forward whatever implementation you will see uh, like real world implementation you will see people are using this particular statement okay in their code as well so that's why uh, i showed you uh, because uh if you are seeing for the first time definitely will get surprised and now i think you got it okay what is the use of it so going forward we'll be using this particular statement in our code and whatever let's say function calling or whatever function initialization actually we're doing everything will be writing inside that only okay this is the idea so yes this was a quick topic i just wanted to let you know i hope you liked it so in the next video we'll be uh implementing one op project okay uh thank you so much